Vid also has mode which allows us to create libraries. And in this lesson let's see what tools Vid provides us with to create npm packages. So for that we need to do a little preparation first. Let's create an empty folder 18 and then switch over to this folder in our terminal. In here I'm going to create two Vid projects. First one will be our client application which is going to import the custom package we're going to create. And the second project will be the library itself. So let's start with creating the first client application. Let's run npm create vid latest to scaffold default vid project. I'm gonna call this project simply app. We are not going to use any frameworks, so I'll go with an option vanilla JS. And also we will not use TypeScript. And now right next to the app folder, let's create another vid project, which is going to contain the library. So let's run the same command npm create vid latest. I'll call this project leap and basically make the same choices. We'll use vanilla JS without using TypeScript. So now let's just open up folders with these projects in a separate terminal tabs and then we can start working on our npm package. So let's open up main JavaScript file of our library. From here we're going to remove everything and install all npm dependencies by running npm install. Next, just to make sure that our application can be open in a browser, let's run development server by running npm run dev. Switch over to the browser and make sure application is loaded. Everything looks good. So let's start creating JavaScript file, which will contain functionality of our package. I'm gonna place this file inside the source folder and the file will be called index.js. So the package we're about to create will contain only one utility function called plug, which is going to accept array of objects as the first parameter and the name of the key, which will have to extract from every object from the array as the second parameter. And in here we're going to loop over every object in this collection and extract key passed as a second parameter field. And eventually this function is gonna give us an array which contains only values of the specified key. And just to test out this functionality, we're gonna create an array of objects. For example, let's create array of users where every object will contain two keys, name of the user and age. I'm gonna add three objects in this array and then populate each field with random data. Let's do the same for the age property and down here I'm going to print the result of our function plug. We'll call this function with our array of users and the property we need to extract will be name. And now in a console we're supposed to receive an array which will consist only of the user names. And of course to execute this script in a browser let's reference it from index.html. And as expected we can see an array of usernames. But of course since this project is intended to be an npm package we need to build this project as npm library and we need to tell it that our project is actually the package that other users can install. So let's create configuration file with config.js and export configuration object. So let's add a object build within which there will be another object lib. And by specifying this lib object, we are informing Vit that our project is actually the package and Vit has to build this project differently. So the first option in this object is entry, which will basically point to the JavaScript file of our package. Let's use function resolve to resolve the absolute path to JavaScript file index.js. And then let's assign name to our package. I'm gonna call it plug. And also let's specify another option, file name. And this option will tell it which file name it should assign to the final bundle script of our library. As always, let's go ahead and write down an import statement for the function resolve that should be imported from the standard Node.js module path. 
and then all that code that was used to test our function, we are going to comment out because this is not client application, so we're not going to use our function block in this project. But instead, it is intended to be used by other users by installing our package into their replications. And now it's finally time to build our package. So in the terminal, let's execute npm run build. And looks like I have specified wrong path to the index file. Let's quickly get back to vit.config.js and fix this path. The folder name should be source. So right now, after I'm gonna build this project by running npm run build, we can see that vit has generated two assets. Those are build files of our package. And the reason why there are two files is because vit has generated two versions of our package. The first version will be used when users will import our package by using ECMAScript modules. And the second version will be imported if users will use function require while importing our package. So now let's take a look at the content of these files. Firstly, let's open up log.js, which is inside of a dist folder. Here we can only see the code of our custom function, which was minified a little bit. And then this function was exported by using alias plug. And this file is what's gonna be imported when users are going to import our library by using native ECMAScript module syntax. And now let's open up another file, plug umd cjs. So as was said before, this version of the library is going to be imported when users are going to use function require to import our library. But this is not all, and in order to make our package so that it can be imported, we still have to do some tweaks inside package.json. So here I'm going to assign different name to our library. Let's call it plug. Then we're gonna have to specify a couple more keys in this object. And specifically those keys are main and module. And by using these keys, we're specifying paths to the build files. So when users are going to import our library by using require, the file that should be imported in this case, we're specifying under the key main. And in case of the native ECMAScript modules, we're gonna import file plug.js. And now I'm going to have to specify another object, experts, with almost the same content, since our library is exposing only one import, meaning that it has only one entry point. Let's specify this entry point. And here we have to use a couple more keys, import and require, and these keys will also contain paths to the files that have to be imported, in case we're using ECMAScript modules or function require to import our library. So now everything is ready to actually start using our library in our client application. Let's go to our client application and open up main JavaScript file. Let's clear this file. And then we have to somehow import our library into this application without actually publishing our package in the npm registry. We are actually also going to see an example where we will publish the package, but it will come in one of the next lessons. And for now, I'm going to make our library globally available in the operating system. And npm allows us to do that by executing the following command inside of that library that we have to make globally available. And this command is npm link. So I'm going to execute this command in the root of our library project. And then later, I will be able to link to this library from our client application but for now, let's switch over to the root of our client application and install all npm dependencies. So now I need to get the code of our library in the node modules folder of our client application. And since we have previously made our library globally available in the operating system, we can simply link to that library by running npm link and the library name in the root of our client application. And right away, we can see that this command has created the link with the same name as our library, and this link points to the source code of our library. And finally, it is time to test the functionality of our package in this application. So I'm gonna start development server, and now it's finally time to test the functionality of our package from our client application. And to do that, let's just copy over that commented code we have previously put 
in the JavaScript file of our package, cut it from here, and move it inside main.js of our client application. But of course, here this function plug should be imported from our custom package, so let's write down an import statement for this function, and import this function using our package name plug, the same name which is used inside node modules folder. And by actually importing our library in this way, it will actually go ahead and import the function from this file plug.js. Because we have previously specified path to this file inside the package.json of our package source code. And now let's just add some random content inside the index.html of our client application. I'm going to show a heading here. And here we go, we got expected result in our console. So our function plug, which was imported from our custom package, has extracted usernames from the array of user objects. So at the end, let's just recall what we have done in order to implement this library. In our library project, we have created file with the name index.js, where we have implemented our function plug, and then by specifying object under the key lib inside vid configuration, we have told vid that this project should be built as an npm package instead of a client application. And here under the entry key, we have pointed to the file which contains the source code of our library. And we've also used a couple more keys to assign name to this library, as well as the file name that should be used for bundle JavaScript file after the build. Then inside package.json file we have added some extra configurations to specify which files should be imported in case our users are going to import our library by using standard ECMAScript modules or by using function require. And then just to be able to use this library inside a client application without actually publishing this library to the npm registry, we have made this library globally available by running npm link in the root of this project. And then inside the root of our client application, we ran npm link and the library name that we had to add to node modules folder. And this command has created a special link inside node modules folder of the client application with the same name as our package name plug. And this link points directly to the source code of our package, which eventually allowed us to import this library from our application's JavaScript code. And these are the basics of developing JavaScript packages by using Vite. In the upcoming lessons, we're going to learn about this whole process even more.